Hey, brothers right here. How y'all doing, man? Hey, come here, man. I got a question for y'all. I got a question for y'all. How y'all doing? Hey, who are y'all according to the Bible? What's your nationality according to the Bible? Come look at this sign right here. You're African American? What about you, bro? You said what now? African American. African American. Alright, so look at this sign. On this sign right here, you got African American. That would mean you from the tribe of Judah. That's true. You understand that? Y'all know who else comes from the tribe of Judah? Y'all go to church? Y'all do? Faithful Sunday keepers? No? Alright, so Christ comes from the tribe of Judah. That's right. And it's the thing. Which one of these images right here you think is Christ? I'm gonna show you something. Which image do they which image right here do they say Christ is? This one here? The, the blue one down here? Right. So that's the answer that I was expecting. You understand? Because they teach us in church that this is Jesus. Hey, do they teach this image right here in church? Right. You, you don't know? I'm not religious. You're not I'm religious? Wait, right. They teach that this is Jesus, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Okay, but check this out. Let me, let me, I'm going to show you something too. You said this is definitely Jesus? Hey, say that again. Say that on the mic. No, that's, that's Jesus. That's right here, right? No, yeah, yeah. All praises. Jesus was not white. Right. Jesus was not white. What color was he? Not white. He was not white. All right, but check this out. Let's get Revelations one and one. So we gonna show you what uh, what what is Jesus' uh, description in the Bible? What Jesus uh, is this Jesus? We gonna do a compare and contrast. Is this Jesus or that or that that image there? Read verse fourteen. Ah, uh -huh. his head and his hairs. All right, it says his head and his hairs. The, ha the hair on his head and the hairs on his face. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Was what? Was white like wool. Was white like wool. Which one of these images got white woolly hair? Do y'all have white? Or do y'all have woolly hair? Yes or no? You do, right? What about you? You don't think you got woolly hair? What you got? Straight hair? That's not straight, brother. That is woolly hair. That's, That's right. Hair just like that on the that sign. That's right. And guess what? It's describing Christ. Oh, Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says his eyes. It's not talking about his pupil. It's talking about the whites of his eyes was uh, uh, as a flame of fire. Reason being is because Christ drank wine. He, he, all right, go to uh, Genesis 49 and read. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine uh -huh. and his teeth white with milk. It says his eyes is going to be red with wine because his, his first miracle was turning water into wine. Y'all know that, right? All right, go back. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a fan of fire. Read. And his feet. So, Mike, if you take your shoes off, Alright, you take your socks off or whatever. Are your feet going to be the same color as the rest of your body? Alright, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is fine? What color is brass? What color is brass? Huh? The darkest gold is color? You all ever seen a penny? Uh, what color is a penny? Brass. What color is that? Is it gold or, or brown? It's brown, right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. It says it's, it, his feet was like if they burned in a furnace. What happened if you leave us in the sun for a long time? We work out there in the sun all year. We get black as hell. So it said Christ was a dark skinned man. That's right. You understand that? All right, give me uh, Leviticus. All right. So I want to deal with something. I got a question for y'all. Um, Cause we got, you got to understand something. We're out here to teach y'all people. What we're, we're out here to teach our people who we are according to the Bible, okay? But the thing is, our people right now, we don't know who we are because we're in the midst of sin. I got a question for y'all. Are y'all brothers? What are y'all? Huh? Best friends. All right. Um, I got, so do y'all, are y'all dating? Or do y'all, do y'all like men? Y'all do. Okay, listen, we're not out here to judge y'all. We out here to correct y'all, according to the Bible. Y'all believe in God? Y'all love God. Right. 
Read that. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. It says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Read. As with womankind. Like you will lie with a woman. Man and man should not lay down with each other. Because the thing is, that's a sin according to God. Right. Y'all say y'all love God, so we must change that. Right. We must fix that. You understand that? No, we're not all, we was not all created in sin. Uh, no, 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 we're not, no, no, we're not. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 29. Listen to this. Lo, this only have I found, uh -huh. that God hath made man upright. The most high God made man upright. The most high God didn't make us sinners. Why would he make us sinners? And the thing is, he want us, he want, he want us to keep his commandments. Right. We was all, listen. The world, the, give, go back to Hosea chapter 4 and 1. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. The world is full of sin because there's no truth in the world right now. Right. There's no truth. The world is in sin because everybody okay with, uh, okay, so for example, no, nobody else, nobody else would say, would say anything to y'all walking by. Nobody's not going to do that because they're comfortable. They're comfortable with captivity. Right. We know as the prophets of the Most High God that as long as we're not sin, we can't get out of this place. Right. So we're going to come out here and correct that thing. You understand that? Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12. Uh -huh. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So the Most High God said, your thoughts might seem right to you, but your thoughts will lead you to death, right. lead you to destruction. Because guess what? That's not right. We, the Most High God, He gave us a blueprint. He gave us the blueprint to live, and guess what? It was not man on man. It was be fruitful and multiply with your wife. You understand that? That what that's what the Most High God gave us. In the beginning, He put Adam and Eve together, right? He did not put Adam and Steve. Bring you up. understand that? Go back to what I had in Romans uh, chapter one. <laughs> You wanna, hey, listen, like I said, bro, this is love. You're not going to get this in the Christian church. Let me tell you why. Because the pastors, a lot of the pastors are sodomites. The most High guy, you got to understand this. The most High guy destroyed a whole city, bro. That's right. Because they was into the midst of homosexuality. He destroyed everybody except, what, was it six people? Eight. Eight people? He destroyed the whole place. Bro, just imagine the most High guy killed everybody out here except for the man right now you see. Imagine that. He did it then. He, he, he's going to do it again. All right. You got to understand that thing. Read that. Romans. Romans chapter 1 verse 25. Ah, who changed the truth of God into a lie. So who changed the truth of God into a lie? The, tru the truth is. Listen. No. Listen. Hold on. Hold your peace. I'll answer your question. Hold your peace. All right. All right. It says, who changed the truth of God unto a lie? The truth is, of God, he says, man should not lay down with man. Right. Obama, last, well, his last, when he was in office, he passed the law to say, man and man can marry. That's, the, that's going against God. Read. And, and worship and serve the creature. It says, worship the creature. The so-called white man is the creature. Yeah, Read. Right. More than the creator. More than God. Listen. More than God who created him. Right. We worshiping this guy. Right. But the most high like God created this guy. Right. He said, who do, who changed that? Read. Who is blessed forever. Uh -huh. Amen. Read. For this cause, uh -huh. God gave them up to vile affection. Most high like God said, because we didn't follow him, we followed... This guy, he gave us up into foul affections. What's that vile affection? Oh, I desire, we want to be with a man now. Man want to be with man now. The most, the most high God said, because you did not follow me, I'm going to give you over to those vile affections. Read. For even their women did change the natural use unto that which is against nature. What's the natural use of a woman? The natural use of a woman is to uh, make, you know, have children. Have children. A man, a man and a woman, guess what? They have sex, guess what? They make babies. That's the natural use of a woman. Now you got women, now you have women out here putting strap-ons, getting surgeries. You have women out here uh, wearing the, the, the breast tape. 
you know, taking all the, the, the stuff out of their breasts. That's the natural use. The most High God said, because you did not serve him, he's going he's gonna to change the course of things. What city has this from? Read. And likewise also the men. It says, and, it says, and likewise also the men. Guess what? I said, hold your peace. I said, it says also like the men. Guess what? The men are doing the same thing. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an example. You you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, Magic Johnson, right? Magic Johnson's son. Guess what? They using that image. They using him to. They using him to doggone or like publicize that it's okay to be gay or a homosexual. The thing is, that's not okay. His daddy got AIDS, bro. His daddy got HIV. Why? Why? Hey, guess what? You can get it from you can get it from anybody, but guess what? If you keep God's commandments and only have sex with your wife, right? right guess what's gonna happen? Most of God, he, he he he's not gonna do that thing. That's right. right. Yes, we we all we all out here married. All of us are here married. Right. What city got destroyed? Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed. But in Hebrews it says that they got destroyed because they weren't kind to the poor. They wasn't kind, bro. That's what Hebrews said. Listen, they wasn't kind. Listen, that, listen, that, listen, that, listen, listen, listen. That's what the Bible. Listen, said. it was it was home. Uh, listen, homosexuality was not the only sin that was going on but in Sodom and Gomorrah. That, the reason that, that was not. And listen, Sodom and Gomorrah was not only the only. They was not the only two cities that got destroyed. Right. But listen, we are here. We are here teaching our people. We are here teaching the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We don't care to hear your mouth. We don't care to hear that garbage you doing. Right. All right. So brothers, back to y'all. You you got to understand the point. That's right. You got to understand the point. We're out here to try to tell y'all that what you're doing is wrong. You understand? So we're gonna show you how to fix that thing. All right. We're gonna we listen. We go to um. Where you at? Yeah, finish that. Start back from the top. All right. Romans chapter 1 verse 27 ah. and likewise also the men it says so it says the men also are you are leaving the natural state of, of what what they're supposed to be doing read leaving the natural use of the woman burn in the lust so we, hey we're so we're so uh tied up in our lust that guess what you got men out there sleeping with men. You got men out there sleeping with little girls. You got men out there sleeping with animals. You got women out there sleeping with animals, bro. You got women doing that thing. What what is what is what is cool about that? What is righteous about that thing? What is normal about that? What is normal about that? Read. Burn in the lust one towards another. Uh -huh. Men with men. It says they burned into their lust one to another. It says what? Men with men. It says men. Listen, bro. Pay attention. It says men with men. It says they're burning their lust. Men with men. Read. Working that which is unseemly. Uh -huh. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was me. So the thing is, bro. Man and woman supposed to make babies. Man and man can't make babies, bro. The scriptures say be fruitful and multiply. How you gonna multiply with two men or two women? You can't multiply that way, bro. Right. The thing is, they've been pushing that thing for centuries. We think it's okay now. We, we, been, we, we think that it's okay for a man to lie with a man. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's okay to you. No, not because I'm gay. I'm saying it because my mama taught me to go to church. You know, we went to church. You, you said who taught you? My mother. Okay. And she also, you know, the issue. Give me work first, three, three, six, and nine. Three of us are gay, the rest of us are straight. God also put in our heart not to judge one another. So you're trying to school us about being gay, but at the end of the day, only God can judge us. God was just trying to populate the earth in the beginning. You said what? God was trying to populate the earth in the beginning. Uh -huh. So it's not a whole thing. We don't have to keep doing this and do this. We populated it. Some people he, we populated it and he destroyed it. Yeah, why? Wow. He destroyed it. He flooded the earth. We're still living. He destroyed it, bro. Sis. Read that. Read, read that. John chapter 7, verse 24. Uh -huh. Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Okay. So am I judging y'all? Am I judging y'all just because how y'all look? Uh, uh, 
Am I, am I judging y'all just because how y'all look? Yeah. Am I judging righteous judgment? Am I judging righteously? Did the Bible say a man and a man should not lay together? Bring it up! Am I judging you based off how, how, how I feel? Or I'm telling you what the Bible says? That's right! Listen, bro, I'm telling you what God says. My words mean nothing. That's right. My words mean nothing, bro. All I'm trying to do is give you the word. That's it. I, I don't care what mama say. I don't care what daddy say. I care what the most high God say. That's right. Because my parents, guess what? They didn't teach me this. Your parents taught you this? If your parents taught you this, what happened? They taught you that it was okay. God gave us the free will. God did not give us free will. He gave us the Bible, bro. He gave us the Bible. Listen. Hey, you said what? What it says for? Go on and tell me. Wrong. Book of law. That's what the Bible is. The book of law, bro. We gave us the laws to keep us grounded. Because without the laws, guess what? We are, we'll be into the midst of homosexuality. We'll be into the midst of prostitution. We'll be out to the midst of breaking the Lord's Sabbath day. We'll be out here to interracial marriage. That's what we'll be into. If we, yes, dressed in immodestly. Huh? Yes, it is a sin. It is a sin, bro. Okay, so I got a question. Read that, Sirach. Hold on. Hold on Listen man, to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Read this. Yeah, go ahead. Go Sirach, chapter 15, verse 20. Uh -huh. oh. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly. So back to what you said earlier, bro. Hey, Michael, you said that God, you said God, um, you said God made us all, he, he gave us all um, free, will. free will. Free will, right? But let's see what the Bible say. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly. He has, God has commanded no man to do sin. That's free will. So guess what? He didn't give you free will. That's right. He said, keep my commandments or die. That's right. Any of y'all out here before? Yes, we all have sinned. Okay, so what makes y'all better than me? We've repented. That's, right. That's, right. That's the difference. Bring it up. When we found out that we was in the midst of sin. Okay, so I got a question. So none of y'all curse, none of y'all go out. Cursing is not a sin, my brother. What? Cursing is not a sin. What is sin? You tell him, you try to tell, listen. Lying, stealing, killing. Is that killing cursing? Killing yourself is the most unforgivable sin. That's the only unforgivable sin. Well, listen. Well, point the, fang, point, the, point the finger at you. What sin are you in? Oh, I didn't repent, so I know I'm sinning. But the thing is, why not repent? Yes, why, why not? Listen, why, why not? Well, I take myself to that and I know I'm not ready for that. You're not ready for what? To, to, to stop laying with a man and get a wife? You're not ready for that? Why? Because you're comfortable in sin, bro. Get that. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. This the thing, bro. This the thing, bro. Listen. Once we found out that we was in the midst of sin, we made haste to turn away from that thing. Right. We made haste, bro. I was dating my wife. I found out that I was whoring her out. Guess what I did? I married her. Just like, like the rest of these men here. Read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Uh -huh. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Listen, just listen to what it say. Read it again for Michael. Hey, what's your name, bro? I can't hear you. Naeem. Naeem. Your name is Naeem? Naeem. Naeem. All right, Naeem. Naeem and Michael. Read. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. So because judgment of your sin of laying with a, a man is not executed swiftly. So Read. Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, Michael, hold on. Just because sin against an evil work, I mean, read it from the top. Because sentence, of, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, uh -huh. therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Because the most High God is not putting you to death straight like that, because you're in the midst of sin, the, the, the mind of the man is set to stay in that wickedness. You, listen, the thing is, back in the, oh, and, uh, before Christ came, you know the judgment for land with a man? Death. That's right. You was put to death if a man lay with a man, bro. But Christ came, he gave you an opportunity to repent of that thing, and guess what? You said, I'm not ready for that. Bro, the first step is to stop laying with men. It's that simple. If you got so much free will, use your free will to stop laying with men. 
That's right. You understand what I'm saying, bro? You can do it. Give me first Corinthians 6 and 9. Bring it out. Neem, Naeem, don't leave. Stay right there and hear this word, man. Stay here. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? It says, uh, Michael and Naeem, don't you know that the unrighteous shall not get the kingdom of God? That's what we want, right? We want the kingdom of God. Do you? You, hey, are you tired of working that nine to five? Are you tired of turning on the TV? Sis, what about you? You tired of seeing your brothers getting shot on the streets? Bring it up. You tired of the oppression? Yes, of the oppre oppression that our people are in. You're tired of that thing, right? My sister said most definitely. We all tired of that. That's why we changed, bro. Read that from the top. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? It says the righteous, it says the unrighteous should not get the kingdom of God. If you're a murderer, if you're a thief, if you hate your brother, if you land down with your brother, if a sister land down with her sister, they're not gonna get the kingdom of God. Read. Be not deceived, uh -huh. neither fornicator. Don't be, don't be deceived thinking that you can get in. Because you know what comes with this image right here? Yeah. It's okay. It's fine to, let, to, to be what you want to be. Free will. Yeah, no. That's what comes with this doctrine. Yeah. Read. No idolaters. So it says, don't be idolaters. Read. No adulterers. Uh -huh. No effeminate. Effeminate. So you don't even have to be a sodomite, a homosexual. If you are effeminate, you're not gonna get the kingdom of heaven. If you're a little soft, little prissy boy, you're not gonna get the kingdom of heaven, bro. The most High God said you can't be effeminate. Because why? Uh, as a man, we must stand up boldly. Yes. Imagine us coming out here teaching like Joe Osteen or TD, TD Snakes. Oh, God loves you. You're gonna get the kingdom. Just give me all your money. Nobody will even consider listening to us. The most high God said they're feminine. That popping your neck, popping your gums, can't hold your neck straight, that's a feminine trait. But the thing is, you got to stop it. You can stop it, Michael. That's right. You're not the first one that, go th that went through this. You're not going to be the only one. You can get over it. The most high God didn't make you that way, bro. You chose to go that way. But the thing is, nine times out of 10, something happened. Did something happen when you was younger? Damn. Bro, you can be honest with me, we, we your brothers. Did something happen when you was younger? I understand that. Guess what? It's a lot of our people that have been through that. A lot of our brothers have been down that same path. Like you said earlier. We all, we all are in the midst of sin, however. My officer will bring it out. Once we change that thing, guess what? Stuff like that will stop happening. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.